so thank you very much. I'm really, really happy to be here to see so many familiar faces from other builders, from the Falcon, uh, like our, uh, Robert was mentioning, the Orbit community. And I'm here today to talk about our journey with Berix and FVM and how this is empowering, empowering Falcon development. Um, hola, my name is Ainoa and I'm a computer systems engineer with over 10 years of experience in shipping software. Uh, before coming to Web3, I work in uh, the automotive industry, building embedded uh, software, and I'm currently leading growth and Web3 projects at Thundax. I'm really passionate about making Web3 onboarding easier, and uh, when I'm not traveling the world in um, meeting all of these friends in the Web3 space, I'm, I'm in Switzerland in a very green small village. <clears throat> about us, Thondax, um, you may know us for our work in software for HSM and hardware wallets. We have been uh, collaborating with Falcon for several years already, but um, we have been doing much more. Um, we do work in infrastructure, integration, and protocol engineering for multiple protocols. We have delivered over 70 projects, and we aim at enhancing efficiency and security on the blockchain ecosystem. As Robert was mentioning, we are Field Orbit ambassadors, and since recently, we are also regional leads in, uh, in LATAM area. Um, although our company is based in Switzerland, we have a big part of our, of our team in Argentina. <coughs> Um, in Falcon, we have been doing a lot of work. Um, recently, we shipped the Solidity Falcon libraries, which uh, facilitate communication with Solidity and Falcon built-in actors with the, uh, with the um, Falcon virtual machine. We have done also work um, in SDK with FVM. Uh, we are working also on integration with exchanges, and we are very happy to be um, working on our new product, which is Berix. Um, in Q2 last year, we started a new exciting collaboration, and um, it was FVM. Probably you already have heard, if you have been today in other talks from our greatest colleagues, um, but if you haven't, I will briefly um, explain you what it is. Uh, FVM stands for Falcon Virtual Machine. It delivers programmability into Falcon and unleashes the enormous potential of an, an open data economy. Um, it's fully EVM compatible, and this is uh, really critical to, to the growth of the Falcon ecosystem, and it's a WASM-based virtual machine. Um, <clears throat> why is this important with all these um, upcoming change? There were a lot of um, changes needed in the infrastructure level, and we saw that um, there was going to be a need for developer tooling compatible with these changes. So we started uh, to work on Emberix. Um, we saw that in order to, to this new technology to be used in the, in, in the ecosystem, w developers would need uh, good tooling. And with developers would come new apps and all these specifically use cases that um, Juan and others were talking about, like data DAOs, perpetual storage, like um, use cases that, um, that can be leveraged with the power that Falcon has to offer. Um, Beric started during Phil Lisbon uh, last year uh, as a prototype to prove that uh, it was possible to build um, an app that interacted with a VM, um, displaying how to interact, deploy and interact a smart contract um, on a VM. And um, we ke it kept evolving together with the whole preparation on, of a VM. Um, we had a lot of, of changes, ups and downs. Um, we experienced multiple testnet. I don't know who of you have de deployed a smart contract on Wallaby. Have you heard of it? <laughs> okay, yeah. Then we uh, we had hyperspace during early early January and February this year, with also um, some hackathons. And then uh, currently we have calibration. Calibration is the testnet that um, that has um, yeah um, of uh, in Falcon and. In March um, 14th this year, FVM um, went live on mainnet, and so did Berix. And um, we ambitioned um, a pl developer, developer platform and that was intuitive and um, could deliver a web free experience, um, intuitive even for people coming from web to space. Um, it started providing uh, capabilities to interact with smart contracts, but also uh, displayed 
<coughs> transactions from the whole FICON uh, network. Um, it, it went very well at the beginning. We had a lot of impact in the ecosystem in all these hackathons. We traveled the world from Lisbon to East India. We did workshops in Barcelona. And, um, and it was very exciting to see people uh, starting to develop in, 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 in Filecoin from Solidity. And it went super fast, but we started to encounter some challenges uh, along the way. And um, during some weeks, we started realizing that the whole application started to be super, super slow. And we were very frustrated and didn't understand exactly why. Um, this was after the launch of FVM. We had several also patches in, in FVM, and, um, and we started investigating. And um, our, our platform, uh, which provides also a block explorer, has over 3 million blocks, <coughs> which are more or less the number of blocks that the Falcon blockchain has. And similar apps that were being built by other teams um, just took into account the last 2,000 blocks, which can be totally fine for some use cases. Uh, but we decided to go the hard way, and we decided to go with full historical data. At Thundex, we are uh, currently running full historical archival nodes for Filecoin, which are very, very heavy. And we really wanted to provide historical data because this could enable, in the long term, uh, features like data analysis, transparency, compliance, and opportunities for researchers or smart contract auditing. Um, in blockchain systems, um, stateful data is stored in the form of key value, uh, arranged sequently. But um, we know that values can also be multidimensional, and specifically in Filecoin, um, we have this JSON that every block delivers that occupy over 300 megabytes. And um, in blockchain systems, some of the, the work that is being done in indexing approaches um, are not really... Um, prepare for working with this multidimensional and historical data. And so we passed from being super fast to being super slow, and now let's say Corky uh, speed, because everyone knows that Corky uh, is the, the fastest animal in the earth. <laughs> um, and one of the changes, big changes that we had to, uh, to do during this process, um, not the only one, but one that we, we saw uh, provide us a big, big improvement, are is the changes on the database from um, OLTP to OLAP uh, model that um, could uh, enable a lot of capabilities in, in terms of data analysis and, and our broadcasting models. And we're currently processing over 35 terabytes of, of data and is growing. And we are presenting today Beric 2.0, which is finally fast and, and has all those capabilities that the, the um, developers were re uh, requiring us. We got a lot of feedback on hackathons, like Robert was saying, and in this Filecoin orbit and uh, hackathons, we receive feedback from the community and we implement those changes. And um, yeah, we also uh, participated as partners in the last ETH Global Hack FS. It was a success, and uh, we expect to, to continue um, our path. Um, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, visit Berix.io. Yeah, <laughs> thanks.